What is up you guys, it is Demise45 here, and in this video, I'm here to show you guys how to underclock the CPU of your MyPhone Aquaman 2G. Now some of you guys may be wondering, why did I put underclock in the title instead of overclock? Well, I have a reason for that. As of the date of this video, there is no custom kernel for this phone, for this phone, which was made in the Philippines. There is no custom kernel for this and I cannot overclock it on the stock kernel. It will only be clocked only in at 1 GHz and that's the farthest it will go on the stock kernel. So because of that, I can't overclock it. I can't do any major tweaks with the CPU of this and I'm only stuck with whatever I got. So in case you were thinking of overclocking it from 1.0 GHz to 1.3 or 1.4 gigahertz then I'm sorry to tell you you can't do that right now as of the date of this video You can't do that right now on the my phone Aquaman 2G So if you have that in mind, just get that off your list. You can't do that as of right now. So yeah I'm sorry, but either way um, Underclocking it still can give you good benefits. It can get you it can give you better battery life which can help you in a lot of desperate situations like you can uh, according to the app in this app that we're using here you can underclock it to at least 598 megahertz which is like almost half of which is like half of the clock speed of the Google core CPU of this phone which is almost good for this phone now you may be getting lesser performance you might not get as good performance as before but if that's not a big problem for you and you just want better battery life then this is a great thing to do on your my phone Ocarina 2G so yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now and also I want to give you a quick warning that if you do not know anything about overclocking or underclocking or anything about Android and how its CPU works on different Android devices then I suggest you do not follow this go ahead and try to do some research on and try to understand how it works before you do this and once you get a brighter um, once you get a broader explanation of what overclocking underclocking the CPU is then you can go ahead and continue with this procedure which we're gonna start right now so let's get started okay so before you do this procedure you do need to make sure that you are brooded on your my phone Ocarina 2G if you don't know how to do that I, le I left a link in the video description below to a video that I made on how to brood the my phone Ocarina 2G so be sure you follow the instructions I said in it very carefully make sure you do exactly what I said then once you finish it and you're rooted and you have super SU installed you can go ahead and open up the Play Store if I can just okay and then tap the search icon at the top right if you would just open then type in CPU whoops CPU tune, tuner type that in then be sure you tap the one that says rooted phones and make sure it's the one made by VOG TP and then once go ahead and install it download it and once you do that go ahead and open it up follow the setup very carefully then once you do that you should be up at this screen then once you're in here you can go ahead and edit all the stuff you can edit all the profiles that you want to have for it here by sliding left and right to navigate to different sections you can set all the governors that you want to add to it and from here you can underclock the CPU by tapping the max and changing it to 598 depending on your profile or you can change it to yeah you can just change it to 598 to 1000 
you can change the performance you can change the governor to whatever the defaults are full speed normal save battery and extreme save battery and from here you can edit the governors you can edit all the profiles you can add one more here at the top and you can make each profile set a different kind of governor set it at different frequencies and change the different services you want it you want to be on when you're using that specific profile and from there guys that's it you can set it and you can edit all the triggers here to monitor your battery on what how your battery on what profile your battery should be using at a certain percentage you can tap the plus icon the top right to add more to edit different triggers and stuff and you can change the name of the trigger and everything you can set everything to the way you want it to you can change the frequencies the maximum frequencies and if you tap the settings if you go into the settings here you can turn CPU tuner on and off you can change the way the user interface looks you can add it the configurations you can also tap user interface to change everything like the language and to the experience that you have you can also change you can also tap back in edit all the profiles and triggers CPU settings all that stuff and from there guys that's it that's how to underclock and overall that's how to underclock and manage the CPU of your MyPhone Ring 2G. And that's it guys. That's how to do it. Now if you guys like this video, feel free to give a thumbs up because that would definitely help me out. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Numaisa45 signing off.